The Hemochromatosis Society Patient Case Studies 2018. Meet Catherine, 27, and diagnosed at 20. Catherine, tell us about your symptoms. My whole life I've suffered with stomach issues, but during university this got a lot worse. I was fainting quite a lot. My hair was falling out and I didn't feel like myself. I um, thought it was just down to going out too much and my new university lifestyle. When I went to see the GP, she tested my iron levels and when they came back as high for the second time, she tested for the GH gene, which is pretty um, rare considering that I'm a young woman. There was no family history of the condition and sometimes GPs don't know to test for it and this then came back as positive. And what is your treatment programme? I now see several consultants. I'd say in the last year I've had about 30 hospital appointments and this range is from just having general venous sections, which is where I have a pint of blood removed every few months. Um, I get my iron levels tested quite a lot, just to check they're okay, because I like to keep them below 50. This is what works for my body. I also see a rheumatologist who deals with my potential arthritis in my hands, knees, feet, elbows and neck. It's in your family, yes? So before I was diagnosed with hemochromatosis, nobody in my family had even heard of the condition. We now know that my mum and dad are carriers, which is why I have it, and my brother's also a carrier. My granddad died pretty young when he was 40, and my mum's not adamant this is from um, health conditions because of hemochromatosis, but it wasn't diagnosed at the time. Is the early diagnosis important? Even though I was diagnosed pretty young at 20, and, and I do now see several consultants, I have had to kind of fight for this within the, within the different consultants that I've seen. I've found that a lot of them don't take me seriously because I'm a young woman. I see it as, yeah, my issues might not be as bad as an older person, that is because I'm only 27. I shouldn't, my knees shouldn't hurt when I walk and I shouldn't be constantly tired. Should more of us know about this condition? as well as general awareness from the general public about hemochromatosis and having too much iron, if we could get the medical profession to take it seriously as well and start being diagnosing people when they were young, that would be a really good thing. And if we can just help the next young person, the next young woman, be diagnosed young, then I think the society would be going in the right direction of helping people. Catherine, thank you.